Welcome to WebStar Press. This is robots.txt file which is used to provide instructions to web crawlers such as search engine bots about how they should interact with the website. It guides crawlers on which parts of a website should or should not be accessed and indexed. The robots.txt file is kept on site's root directory. This robots.txt file is allowing all web crawlers to access everything on a website except directory 1 and directory 2. You can add rules in this file to disallow certain parts of website. You can restrict certain crawlers and allow others. ChatGPT does not crawl websites, but ChatGPT recently allowed plugins development. ChatGPT plugins can access up to date information, run computations, or use third party services. Already some plugins have been developed and many are under development. Now if you are a content creator, blog writer or blogger, you probably want visitors to your website. If crawlers from ChatGPT user agent can access your website and get the data to display ChatGPT users, why visitors will visit your website when they can access information from your website right inside ChatGPT. This is why you should look into how you can disallow crawlers from ChatGPT users. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Okay. If you go to OpenAI Docs plugins slash bot page, it states that ChatGPT user is the user agent that is used by plugins in ChatGPT. This user agent will be used to take direct actions on behalf of ChatGPT users. If you want to allow ChatGPT user agent to access your website, you don't need to do anything. If you want to explicitly allow plugins to access your site, add ChatGPT user to your site's robots.txt file like this. If you want to allow plugins to access some parts of your website, you can add ChatGPT user to your site's robot.txt file like this. It will only grant access to these two locations in your website such as directory 1 and directory 2. These two are allowed. Everything else in website is disallowed for ChatGPT user, user agent. But if you want to disallow ChatGPT plugins to access your website entirely, use this code in robots.txt file. So in your robots.txt file, at the top, use this code. It will disallow ChatGPT plugin crawlers for your entire website. As described in Google Search Central, allow access to all but single crawler. In this case, this user agent is disallowed for entire website and all other user agents are allowed for entire website. Using this, your website will be invisible to crawlers from ChatGPT user agent. This is how you can restrict ChatGPT from accessing information on your website. Go to your website's root, edit robots.txt file and add these two lines in it. Save the file and you are done. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.